we are ready to get started with today's World B Day Minecraft Live Lesson. So thanks very much everyone for joining us or if you're watching this later on a video that's awesome as well. Um, I'm going to take you through lots of really cool activities for World B Day which is today 20th of May 2022. So right around the world there's all sorts of events happening for World B Day. I'll just turn my camera on so you can see who's speaking to you. There we go. Hello. Welcome. Um, we're going to talk about bees today and particularly how bees behave in Minecraft. We've got a really uh, fun packed session for you and whether you are doing this at home or at school with your friends, with a whole class, um, we should have lots of fun today. So the whole idea of today is to try and see how bees work in Minecraft. We're going to build a pollinator garden. We are going to fertilize our farms and we're going to make some honey, hopefully lots and lots of honey. So that's the aim of today. Um, who are who are going to help you along the way? Uh, there's me, Stephen Payne, and um, I'm joining you today from the land of the Wajuk people of the Noongar Nation. That's in um, Perth, Western Australia. Um, and I'm really happy to be joined by my friend and colleague, um, Amanda. Have you got a microphone there? Hi, everybody. Um, thanks for joining the call today. I'm looking forward to this lesson too, Stephen. I'm joining you from the Jagara Turrbal country, which is uh, in Mianjin, Brisbane, uh, in Queensland. So um, yeah, let's be creative. I'm excited, Stephen. Excellent. So as we go through today, there's just a few little rules. We have got quite a lot of people joining us. So please be respectful of, of everyone um, joining in today. Um, don't be rude, be polite, ask nice questions. If something doesn't work, try again or come back to the video later on. Um, those are the rules. Excellent. And this is a live event, but you can pause it. We're broadcasting live, so you can just um, press pause on the um, screen if you want to get everyone up to the the same place that I am and then you can press play when you're ready to go as well. Also this video will be available um, forever or for a long long time after today if you want to revisit it or perhaps something happens during today. Um, you should be able to answer any questions uh, by clicking this little Q&A button but we've also um, set up a, a Microsoft form as a backup and one that students can use as well. So first of all um, you can turn on the uh, captions if you want to have subtitles for what I'm saying. And then if you have got any questions during today, um, there is a link there. I think Amanda can type that into the um, Q&A panel as well if that's working. But otherwise, um, students and staff or anyone watching can just go to bit.ly forward slash M-E-E dash O-Z. That's all capital letters. And you can just ask a question of me and Amanda or maybe I've asked you something because I've got stuck. I know students are a lot better at Minecraft than, than grown-ups quite often. So if you've got anything to say, just type it into that chat and Amanda and I will keep a, an eye on that as we go through today. So fantastic, what's the plan for today? We are going to try and find out as much as we can about bees in Minecraft. We're gonna see how they behave. We're gonna build a pollinator garden and collect honey. I put some um, bottles of honey there, but I think there's other ways of collecting honey as well that we're going to explore. And then I'm also going to mention a couple of ways that you might be able to use coding to make an even better um, pollinator garden or apiary or farm. So we'll see how we get on today. And I'm hopefully there's going to be a lot of collaboration, a lot of problem solving, and most of all, a lot of fun. Excellent. So we're actually going to be using the Minecraft Education Edition um, app today. Hopefully you've got that on your device, on your laptop or your tablet. Um, if not, you might want to pause the uh, video and just go and get it from this website. And then you just sign in with your school email address. I'm guessing most people who've um, joined in the call have already used Minecraft. So you can just log in and get started straight away. And we're actually going to use a particular world that already exists in the library 
called Be Creative. So once you've logged into Minecraft, you just go to hit the big play button at the top of the screen. You go into the monthly build challenges, which is a folder on the right hand side. And then right near the top, there's a world called Be Creative with lots of flowers and bees. So what I'm going to do is um, show you how that works. We'll get everyone in the same. Um, we'll get everyone in the same place and then. Um, uh, and, and then we'll go through some activities together. So um, I'm just going to put on the screen um, a, a couple of links. So again, pause, pause the game or you might want to write this uh, questions and answers link or grab the QR code. So any questions today from teachers, parents, students or anyone um, playing along with us, just scan this QR code or type in this web address and you will be able to um, you will be able to um, speak to me and Amanda and we will um, try and answer those questions as we go through. Excellent. So actually, I've got a question for you, first of all. I know we've got quite a few people joining from right across Australia, maybe even further afield. Um, so if you can get to this form, just click on this link or scan the QR code. Just to kick us off, can you tell us where in the world you're joining us from? So the city or the suburb, um, it'd be great to know um, which states people are joining in from. Hopefully there's a few from my state, Western Australia and Amanda's state, Queensland, but hopefully plenty of others as well. And we'll be able to see that. Um, any questions, shout them out here. Fantastic. We are ready to start. So I've opened up Minecraft. Here we go. I've got it open on my computer. Oh, 25% loaded. 37% I get very excited as the uh, as the loading bar comes up and then I'm going to go and find the be creative world. Fantastic. Oh, I think the first thing I'll need to do is find myself some appropriate um, appropriate clothes. So da -da -da. I don't know if there is. Oh, that's I think that's a firefighter, but it looks a bit like a bee. So I'm going to actually be a firefighter bee today. That's me. Excellent. So I'm going to go into play and I'm going to hit view library, monthly build challenges, and then be creative. So there's some um, there's some text there you can read. There's some extension activities that you might want to refer to later, but I'm just going to create the world. And as that's as that's building, um, Amanda, have we got, do we know where people are joining us from today? Have you got a microphone? Yep. Sorry, Stephen. I was just uh, having some technical issues, but no we've worries. got some people in from Victoria. We've got um, somebody else from Perth as well. Um, and we've got somebody who can't seem to access the library to get into the B lesson. Any immediate troubleshoots for that, Stephen? Is it because they don't have their license activated or I don't know? Could it could be a number of things. Um, mm. What you can do is if you go to the if you go to the Minecraft education website, education.minecraft.net, and you search for be creative, B double E creative, you can download the world directly from the Minecraft website. Um, we might need to troubleshoot the library later on. Sometimes logging off and logging back on, the computer can help, but you can grab the world if you can't get it through the library you can get it through the minecraft education website by searching for be creative so hopefully that will work otherwise um maybe come back to it um a little bit later great so i've landed in this world and i've got some um instructions so i don't know everything about bees and i don't know how much amanda knows but together we're going to find out a few things about bees um, what I do know, though, is how to move around in uh, Minecraft. So I'm using a mouse and keyboard and I'm just looking around. There's my beekeeper. I can interact with the beekeeper by right clicking. I love bees. Fantastic. So do I. And here's my challenge. Here we go. Did you know that bees pollinate approximately one third of the food we eat? Pollination is an important part of the life cycle of many plants that allows them to produce food, fruit. Your challenge this month is to build a pollinator garden in Minecraft, plant some crops nearby and watch what happens. Uh, I'm just going to mention something about 
these activities in Minecraft. Um, you can actually use a tool that Microsoft has provided called Immersive Reader. So if you hover over anywhere where there's text, you can just press I on your keyboard and it launches Immersive Reader that gives you some extra help with reading. That also um, works on uh, an iPad. There's a little Immersive Reader button comes up. And what that allows me to do is bring up any of the text on the screen and I can, I can listen back to it. So maybe I um, struggle with reading or perhaps I um, need some help in another language. I can also get help in another language, which is really super useful. Um, so you just press the I button and then Immersive Reader loads. It's taking its time today. Wow, but we're here. So it will just bring up any of the text full screen and I can just press the play button and listen back to that maybe with my headphones on. And if I come on this little button here, I can actually choose the language that I want to read it in. So maybe there's a lot of English there and I'm more familiar with reading Arabic or um, Urdu or another language. I can just switch languages. So I thought I'd just highlight that as a really useful tool. Now I'm going to get on and look at bees. Um, so I'm going to do a little bit of it. Stephen, I might just say as well, I've got my microphone on, but I might just say as well, you can see in the bottom left hand corner there, if you're quite new to Minecraft and you keep forgetting what buttons you need to press to move around the keyboard, probably if you're here, you already know, but you can just press H and it will bring up those controls down the left hand side for you. And then you can press H again to control those if you'd like to. So that's just a really good tip if you are quite new or especially for the teachers out there who um, it might not come as naturally to you um, if you haven't played a lot of Minecraft before. Fantastic. So I can see a couple of bees flying around. I've got a um, I've got a garden there, my garden. Actually, I'm going to go in and change that. So the great thing about slates is you can change the name. So I don't want anyone else in my garden. I'm going to change that to Stephen's garden. There Stephen, you've got some questions in the form, actually. Somebody's asking, um, how long have you been playing Minecraft for? And also somebody thinks that you're the creator of Minecraft. They want to know if you're actually the guru, the guru that created Minecraft. Uh, excellent. Let me answer that in a moment. I'm just too excited by this box here. So wherever you land in uh, Minecraft, you get the chest. And these are all things in here to do with bees. So I'm just going to grab some of those oh, water. Well, we might learn later why a campfire is helpful for bees. We can spawn bees. We've got a beehive and a bee nest. Oh, we'll have to discover the differences between them a little bit later on. I've got a few different types of flower. Um, I'm not going to use the water just yet. And maybe some different seeds, maybe some carrots and some beetroot. Fantastic. So I've got everything I need down the bottom. So I've got beehives, poppies, sunflowers, beetroots. Oh, I'm going to have a great time now. So um, I have actually been playing Minecraft for about since it came out, so about 13 years. Um, but that might be older than even some of you are. Maybe I was playing before you were born. Um, but I haven't played all the time. I played a lot when it first came out and then I didn't play it for ages. And then the education version came out and then I got really excited again. So um, I really like being able to see all of the new mobs and how they interact and how you can learn science and um, coding and maths, which when I first started using Minecraft, it was really just a game to be creative and build. But now you can do lots of learning as well. Um, but no, I just happen to have the same name as Steve as the main character. So I, I sometimes pretend that I'm Minecraft Steve, but I'm not really. Um, Amanda, how long have you been playing? Uh, I've probably been playing um, since Minecraft Education Edition came out, but I play with my daughter, which is kind of cool now because she really likes playing Minecraft. She's nine. So I do play a little bit. Um, with her, she does really cool build challenges and um, I get in there and build with her occasionally. So it's pretty fun. Um, so I'm just gonna say too, that if you're having trouble downloading the, the worlds, 
we've given you the option to go to the website and see if you can download it um, directly from there. Um, unfortunately, there's not much more we can do without contextually being with you to, to troubleshoot that. But remember, this is a live event, so you can pause it or you could even return to this event um, after you get those technical issues uh, sorted. Right. So sorry if you're having a bit of a trouble, but maybe you, yeah. you maybe you just want to watch what we do. I'm going to plant some um, flowers. Oh, peonies can go first because I'm not. I don't know whether the um, bees like particular flowers more than others. What do you think, Amanda? Uh, I don't know. Um, red is the color. Red and yellow are danger, aren't they, in the insect world? So maybe they don't like red flowers. I've got no idea. We'll have to experiment and check it all out. I like your idea of planting lots of different ones. Yeah, I'm going to see which ones. Same. I'm going to see which ones they go to. So I'm going to plant some daisies. White's always good. I always see yeah. um, bees around white flowers. So I'm just going to plant those. You might be a bit more organized than than I am, but I'm just planting some flowers. Um, there's some bees naturally in the game. But I can also um, I can also spawn bees. So if I want to bring some bees quickly into the game, I can just if I'm in creative mode, spawn the bees. So my bees are here and hopefully they'll go and start getting some uh, pollen from the flowers. Oh, look, I don't know whether they just went to the nearest flowers. Let's see if I put some over here. Do they go to the daisies? Doesn't look like there's much difference between the flowers. One thing actually, um, quite often you can put flowers in a flower pot. So I'm just going to see what what happens there. So I'm going to put my flower. I'm going to just put a couple of flower pots down. And then put in a few. Um, flowers in the flower pots. You know, Stephen, ah. one thing I do know about bees is that, you know, they're definitely decreasing in our environment. So we're planting flowers in Minecraft today. But you know what you could do like on the weekend? You could go home and ask mum and dad if you could plant some flowers in your garden so that you can actually do what you're doing in Minecraft, but in real life to help save the bees as well. That would be cool. That would be very, very cool. And if you have got a, a garden and you can leave some of it just natural they love that as well because yeah, they love they the do. natural flowers okay and i think they actually ignore the flowers in pots you might want to give that a bit of a, an experiment and see if that works but i think they ignore the flowers in pots and just like the natural flowers either ones you've planted in a garden or the ones that occur naturally in the game but that's a little bit of a um an experiment that you can do now i'm going to come over here and plant some crops in my farm. I'm first of all going to give this a name. Just like I've named my garden, I'm going to name, I'm going to get a slate. And I'm going to name this. Can I put it on the top there? Yes, I can. Excellent. Stephen. I just want a baby bee, Stephen. Oh, baby so bee. So cute. I want a baby bee. I'm going to see how I can do that. In a moment. Oh, oh, I was it. just spawning and a one that spawned. Oh, there it is again. The baby. So cute. Oh, oh there's one. Oh, so cute. <laughs> so just a couple <laughs> of things, a couple of things about um about the farm. We've got water in the middle there. Um, and that's something to remember if you are planting uh, seeds, and I'm sure people know a lot more about this than I do, we can plant my seeds and you have to first of all till the garden with a hoe and then when you plant your seeds oh let's plant some let's plant some carrots along here they have to be fairly near near to water uh, to be able to grow so hopefully with the water in the middle of my farm and with the bees nearby i can actually get some nice crops growing okay cool so what I'm going to do there is I'm just going to pause there and uh, you might want to pause the game as well and get some uh, flowers planted and get some crops planted. And then we'll see if we can discover some special facts about bees in Minecraft. OK. 
Amanda, what do you know about how bees behave in Minecraft or what have you observed so far today? Uh, well, I planted a whole heap of flowers already and I'm watching them and they kind of like came over and hovered for a little while, but now they've disappeared out into the fields and one is dropping something everywhere, Stephen. So I am interested to learn, is that pollen? Exactly right. So what what the bees do is they go and um, they go and find the flowers like you can see on my screen. The bees are all um, uh, getting the pollen from the flowers. And then once they've got that, they go and fertilize um, plants. So they might be carrots that you're growing in your farm or they might be um, grass or sometimes weeds. And they can actually um, fertilize plants 10 times and then they go back to their hive or their nest and then they can make honey. So it's very exciting. I can't see a hive. I can see a, is that a nest over there? Yeah, so I can actually make some hives and nests in the game. And there isn't a lot of difference between a hive and a nest. Um, they do the same thing. It's where the bees live and it's where the bees make honey. But there's a couple of little differences. I'm going to put you on the spot. Any idea, Amanda, about the difference between a beehive and a bee nest? Oh, I think I know. Go on. A beehive is man-made and a bee nest is like a natural hive. Would it be something to do with that? 100%. Ah, uh, yes. I am so impressed. So I am now placing here some bee hives and bee hives are man-made and you can actually craft these in Minecraft. So if you're not playing creative and you're in a survival mode, you can actually um, craft the uh, bee hives. I can't remember the recipe, but you can see there's a, a bee that's just gone into the bee hive, whereas the bee nests occur naturally in the game. They're quite often near trees um, and they occur naturally in the game. But bee oh, hives. I can see a tree. I can see one in the tree up on the um, hill behind my um, farm, my crop patch, which is pretty yeah. cool. Excellent. So you know they what do they a... call, you know what they call um, bee nests, uh, uh, indigenous people call bee nests? Sugar bag. It? Yeah, sugar it's bag. sugar bag. I love it. It used to be like a treat. So the kids would be walking through and they'd get really excited because they found a sugar bag and it was like, you know, getting lollies because it was like a sweet treat that they had um, from the bush. So there you go. That is fantastic. I'm going to make a few more fly uh, bees. And because I've got my um, beehives, I think I can have a lot more bees. Oh, there's another baby one. So um, you actually have three bees um, live in each hive in Minecraft. Um, so if you've got more and more bees, you'll need more and more hives for your bees to go and live in. And it actually takes them, um, it actually takes them a little while to make the honey. Um, it takes about two minutes for a, a bee to kind of um, generate its honey and then it can go off and start collecting pollen again. Um, so I'm just going to tell you a couple of facts that I've learned while I've been playing Minecraft um, with bees that I think are quite interesting. So the first thing I noticed is I was trying to plant some flowers. Um, and the interesting thing is when you hold a flower, the bees follow you. So that's really fun. Um, and then you can actually um, show the bees some love by feeding them with the flowers. So if I tap on this, be you can see I've actually um, given uh, the the uh, bee some love and if I click on this one I give this one some love and then if you've given two bees love they can pair up and they make a baby bee that's pretty cool Aww. hey so Stephen I somebody um, posted in the chat it's come through anonymous so um, but they said that bees are actually red colorblind and they love purple and blue flowers. So there's a tip ah. for everybody. Thank you for that person for letting us know that. 
that is really good to know. I didn't know that. Me Red either, so thank blind. you. Cool. We can explore that and see if that's the same in um, see if that's the same in Minecraft. So if we put some blue and purple, you reckon we might get some more honey? Maybe. Mm, definitely worth a definitely worth a try. OK, so I've um, I've got the bees. They are. I'm holding these uh, flowers, so they're still following me. The other thing you can do is you can actually put a bee on a lead. Did you know you could do that? You can actually put a bee on a lead. Oh, let me let me actually click the lead and then I can. Oh, it's gone away because I uh, because I stopped holding the flower. But I think. Oh, there we go. I put the bee on the lead and then I can take the bee for a walk like a dog. That's pretty cool. So maybe I've got uh, maybe I'm, I've planted a new farm on the other side of my um, town and I want to take my bees there. Maybe they can't find their own way so I can take them one by one on a lead. That might take a little while, but you could do that. OK, so I've now got um, I've got my bees collecting their pollen and my uh, farm is growing quite well. And hopefully we're making some honey as well. So. I think I might stop holding that bee. He's desperate to go in his uh, in his hive or something like that. So um, there's a couple of ways that you can collect honey once you've got your bees um, once you've got your bees working. Um, and the two main ways that you can collect honey are to collect bottles of honey or to collect honeycomb. And I think in here, did I have a bottle? Hmm. No. So I'm going to go into my inventory and search for a bottle. I think because I'm in creative mode, I can just go and get a honey bottle. But I want to get an empty glass bottle. I'll put that there. I think I'm done with my flowers for now, so I'll take those out. I've got a an empty bottle and I think to collect honeycomb. I use a shear so I can actually shear the um, Shear the beehive or the bee nest. <gasps> Have you ever collected honey in Minecraft, Amanda? I haven't. No. Oh, I'm very excited. Ho hopefully, you've uh, you've generated some today. I've got lots of bees following me, and I did um, give feed some some bees, and I've got baby bees happening as well. So I've got all the right things happening. I've got some hives. Hopefully, Fantastic. Um, I'll have some honey. Fantastic. So, um, what do the I bees... need again? I need a con I need a a glass container, do I? Yeah, a glass bottle um, oh, will yeah. will allow you to collect the honey. Um, mm. And so, our little competition is to see who can who can collect the most glass bottles um, in this lesson. So, I'm going to have a go in a moment. You can see on my um, you can see on my wall of uh, hives. Can you see the one on the bottom right? It's is totally full of honey now. It's got honey dripping out of it um, down here. So I can actually go and get my glass bottle and I can click on that and you'll see I've now got a honey bottle. And it's as simple as that in, in, the, in Minecraft. If you've got your bees and you've got plenty of flowers, they can actually come and create that honey. And once it's full, you can collect it with a um, with a bottle, just like I did there. Um, and the great thing, obviously, about Minecraft is you can do this collaboratively. You can have multiple people all working together. Maybe you've built a, a, um, a bunch of gardens or a whole kind of community garden and you can just collect the uh, honey and share it out. So my bees are quite happy work, working along there. They're quite happy for you to go and take honey with a bottle, even in um, survival mode. However, they get angry, uh, particularly in survival mode, when you try and shear their um, shear their nest or their hive, and they'll uh, definitely come and try and attack you and sting you. But there is a way around that. which I'm going to um, which I'm going to highlight. So in your um, inventory. 
if you find a fire like a campfire can i get that a campfire yes so if i get a campfire and i light the campfire underneath um underneath the beehive or the bee nest then the smoke calms the bees down and you can take their honeycomb without them getting angry and i'm not an expert about bees but is that is that something that happens in um with beekeepers in in our world as well amanda have you heard of yeah, that yeah totally um they have their little smoke contraptions that they use to um yeah calm the bees down my neighbor's got um some beehives and he's got his white suit that he puts on to protect himself from stings and then he's got this little um uh it's almost like a watering can actually Stephen, and you light the fire in it and it and it um or something in the bottom of it and it spits out smoke to calm the bees fantastic so i think part of this is a um is a waiting game i had one full um one full uh hive i can go and make some more bees and i'm going to show you a, a few a few little tricks in a moment that uh, allows you to make uh lots of bees at the same time um but for now i'm just spawning a few more bees and i can happily leave my um my garden going my farm going and these will be filled up with um water uh, with, with honey <laughs> they won't be filled up with water um so there's a couple of things that happen when a bee when a bee um has uh, collected enough pollen it will go to the uh, hive or the nest and start making honey um, they also go inside at night so if it's night time the bees will all go and huddle up in their beehives um what i'm not sure about and i'm actually going to try this i don't know whether bees like rain do they, are they quite happy to go and collect pollen and go about their day outside when it's raining amanda what do you reckon oh no we'd have to test it so i'm going to test it i'm going to make a few more if bees. I was a bee, i'd probably hide under a leaf wouldn't you i don't know now I'm going to make it. Can I can I click forward slash? Yes, I can and change the weather to rain. It might put out my fire. I don't know, but it is under the beehive. So what's happening to the bees when I put the when it starts raining? Well, they, they've gone away from the flowers. I'm not sure if they know what they're doing. They don't like it, though, do they? I might need to uh, do a bit of an experiment. I might even need some more uh, some more beehives. OK. Great, so I'm building my um, my garden. That's pretty cool, but I might find that I want to make it even bigger so I could actually expand this. Um, I can I can grab some um, I can grab some fences and gates and I can maybe make a network of of gardens. I could have a, a whole lot of beehives and bee nests. And the other thing I might want to do is just kind of document how my um, how my world is going. So I'm just going to take a few photos, and that's one of my favourite things in in Minecraft is being able to. Um, kind of keep a record of what I've been doing and how I started and how my build has progressed. So what I'm going to do is go and find a camera from my inventory. Oh, got the same first letters as campfire, which makes it nice and quick to find. So a camera will allow me to take photos. And then I've got this great tool called a portfolio. I'm not going to type it all in port f portfolio and that will actually record all of my photos it's like a photo album 
Stephen, I'm so excited. I just checked the form and we have some busy B year four students from Thursday Island online today with their teacher. So that is super cool. All the way from Thursday Island to play Minecraft with us today. I love it. Thank you. Well, let us know how you're getting on. How many how many bottles of honey have you made so far? I've made one. How many have you made, Amanda? I just can't get any of my beehives to produce. I've been leading them to the oh. beehives with my, with my flat, collecting them and getting my flowers and making them follow me. And yep, I just can't get enough uh, honey in any of my beehives to harvest. Any tips, Stephen? Uh, they, are they too far away from the farm? No, um, they're right next to it. Are they too close to the farm? No, I don't think they can be too close. Maybe um, someone can help us in the chat, but I think um, I think they um, can't be too far or too close. So we might need to do a bit of experimenting to see um, uh, to see how that works. I'm going to just take a few photos. So I'm going to pick up my camera. I want a photo of my beekeeper. There we go. There's my beekeeper and my garden. So the really cool thing here, you may have used this lots of times, but I really like being able to keep evidence of what I've done so I can put it, um, I can store it in my digital. Oh, I put a camera in the middle of the farm. Didn't want to do that. Um, so I can just take some photos and they all appear in my portfolio. Um, and then I can go and give them a caption. So that's my farm. That's my garden. And that's my beekeeper. So the really nice thing about doing this is, particularly if you're working in groups or in class, you might want to show your family or show your teacher what you've done and you don't necessarily want to take your laptop out and show you everyone queuing up to show the teacher the laptop. What you can do is you can just export that portfolio and you can print it out or you can just save it to your OneDrive or you can upload it to Teams or Seesaw or whatever you're using and the teachers can see all the great work that you've done and you can share it with your um, family as well. So I really like using the camera to kind of document my progress and particularly if I've got something cool like a, a hive full of honey. Oh look this one's full of honey. So I'm going to take a photo of that. Click my camera. And then in my portfolio. Lots of honey. Oh, I've got to check my spelling. And there we go. Somebody in the chat just gave me the tip that maybe I need more flowers and, and more bees. So I've just spawned a whole heap more. Uh, Bees, and I'm going to go and plant some more flowers. So thank you for that tip. Let's see if it makes a difference because I still don't have any honey. Oh. oh no, it's a bit disappointing. I'm going to just try sharing this now. I, I think I think I'm really interested in how many how much honey I can get, but I just want to see what happens when I do um, share. Ah, there we go. So I share and it drops honeycomb on the floor. There we go. And because I'm in creative mode, they um, the, the bees weren't angry. Now, what I am um, interested in is, is there anyone who's watching this who knows what you can use honey or honeycomb for in Minecraft? So if you know what they can be used for, do you... Um, can they give you special powers when you eat them? Can you can you give them to animals? Can you put them on clothing? Um, I'm not really sure. I don't know if you know what what special powers they have apart from eating and drinking them. Amanda, I'm not going to spoil it. I'm going to wait to see if anyone uh, puts a message in the the chat. Oh, you know more than I do. I don't know. I don't know uh, how that that works. Um, any other tips about about using the camera? Oh, I just love taking. Did you do a selfie? Because I just love doing selfies in Minecraft. I don't know. How do I do a selfie? 
you have to like place the camera somewhere and then uh, walk back in front of it. So I take a selfie with my hives. Yeah. yeah. So walk out in front of your hives, you know, about 10 blocks or five, six blocks maybe and place the camera. Yeah. And then go back to your hive and then click it from. Yeah, and I'll click it from there and we'll take a selfie. And I'm going to hold a honey bottle. So hopefully I'll have a photo of me holding a honey bottle in front of the hives. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah, that was cool. We've got some questions that. here um, and some people are saying, can you name the bees with name tags? So I know my daughter does that in um, the consumer edition of Minecraft, the one that you might have at home when you play. But can you do that in education edition? I don't know if you can. Can you, Stephen, unfortunately? Can you name the... Uh, the bees i'm yeah. not sure yeah um, i don't I, I don't know if you can in education edition that might be something to go and explore i know um mm. I, I don't think you can yeah i'm not sure i know when you rename things you use um you use an anvil i might try this later on but i think if you grab an anvil um you can actually go and you can put put items on there. I don't think you can do it with animals. So you can take things like um, a, yeah, so you can take something like um, an object and give it a new name. So you could take a sword and rename that, but I don't think you can do it with animals. I haven't tried it, so you might want to try that. You could do it with an anvil. It might be something different. I'm not sure is the answer from me. Mm -hmm. But if anyone knows yeah. and can, can let us know in the, in the form that would be useful as well. We know how long they live for, Stephen. Do they have a life cycle? The bees. That no? is something I don't know. I don't no. think so. That was another I... question on the chat, but uh, on the in the form. I don't think they do. The monitor one. <laughs> and see how long they last. Oh, I've That's got it. honey. Yes. You Maybe finally got need... honey. Yes, See if you can I get a do. bottle of honey. Yes, I'm going to. I'm so excited. Excellent. I think mine, mine's going pretty well. Hey, I'm just going to pause my game there. I think I've got everything running nicely for me. Um, I'm going to share a, a couple of things with you now. Um, one is uh, there were a whole group of uh, children from right around the world who uh, did this activity last year. Um, and I'm going to share the uh, uh, just share a little bit about what they they did. I think it's really, really great. Um, you'll be able to find it on the Minecraft uh, education website. Um, oh, here we go. Got somebody saying that in Minecraft, um, honey is obviously a source of sugar as well. So I guess yes. you, if you're paying survival, you could eat it. As you know, absolutely as, as sugar. What else do you use sugar for in Minecraft? Is it in some recipes? Don't know. I think so. And I think the um, you can use the honeycomb for putting on your um, like your saddle to make it softer, maybe. Oh, yeah. Hmm. That's three bottles of honey now. I'm pretty impressed with that. Yay. You've beaten me. I was too busy uh, talking, I think. Um, I'm just going to share this with you. Um. I had the wrong uh, website open, but I think I found it now. Uh, just to give you some inspiration and then I'll give you some ideas to uh, to take away from this. So this is actually. Um, can I bring this over? 
Here we go. Can you see my uh, web page now? Yes, we can. Yeah, excellent. So this was a, um, you, if you go to this website, if you search for Be Creative Build Challenge, this is on the Minecraft Education website. There's some examples from teachers uh, and students all around the world. Students have, have been trying this. So um, we've got a, uh, a student from India showing how um, pollinators are important. Um, oh, the pictures aren't showing up, but um, there's lots of uh, there's lots of examples there from from uh, Canada and um, all over the world of people who've done some fantastic builds sharing their apiaries, which is uh, where the bees live and their pollinator gardens and their farms. So just by looking at the basics that we've done today and getting a whole um, class all building together, look at that stack of beehives and nests all together. So there's lots of really great um, examples here that have all started off in the same place that, that me and Amanda have started, but actually gone in and done a bit more uh, building. So I think that's, um, that's super fantastic. Um, I wanted to just show you one final thing in um, Minecraft um, that I did when I when I first looked at bees, I decided I wanted um, lots and lots of bees, but I didn't want to keep spawning them because I wanted to be building other things while the bees were created. So what I'm going to do is just escape from this world. I'm going to save this world. I'm definitely going to go back to it and see if uh, see if more honey has been created by the bees. And so the final thing I want to do is uh, just show you a couple of quick things you can do with um, with coding that allows you to speed up how you do things in Minecraft. So this should be pretty cool. So while I'm doing that, um, any other comments coming through Amanda? Any Anyone done anything cool or got any info? Not at this stage. Everyone must be busy making uh, hives and harvesting honey, I think. Yeah, absolutely. Cool. I really like bees. Hmm. They're super cool. In fact, just down the road from me, there's um, some beekeepers who uh, who brought along. I don't know what they're doing. They've got a, they've made a stand and they're going to show what they've created and how they create it as part of World Bee Day. There's a bigger stand just down the road from me. So I'm going to go and look at that at lunchtime. That's cool. I'll Somebody just some said they found out that bees don't like rain. When it rained in their world, they went inside their man-made hives. Oh, fantastic. So I think, I think uh, they'll go to either a hive or a nest if there's one nearby. And it's really interesting that the nests occur naturally in Minecraft um, next to different types of trees. So I think uh, some trees are more likely to um, create a, uh, a naturally occurring nest than another one. So I'm just going to very quickly, um, the reason I've come out of the be creative mode is because it's one of the challenge worlds, you don't have the code builder on it. So what I'm going to do is just quickly show you a couple of things in coding because I love coding for two reasons. One, it's much more accurate than than I am. Like I can't build a perfect tower of um, beehives because I always make holes and put things in the wrong place, but I can write some pretty um, decent programs to help me. And also I can do things quicker. So if I want to make a thousand bees, I can actually write a program that makes a thousand bees straight away without having to sit there and spawn them and, and wear out my finger. Do you like coding, Amanda? I love coding. Um, and I love the way that coding makes you think in terms of having to get everything just right so that, you know, it runs nicely. Like the trial and error kind of element to coding sometimes is fun for me. Some people probably find it frustrating. I like it. And I like being able to, I like the like surprises that happen. You type something in and you've you've done one little thought thing wrong and you get something surprising. So the other day I was yeah, working. Yeah. 
the other day I was working with a year four class and I was trying to code a tower in Minecraft. And I accidentally forgot to move up, so I was doing it all on the flat and one of the students shouted out that looks just like Mickey Mouse because it just looked like a big mouse with big ears because I had forgotten to go up and I was just going round and round. So funny. Easy to do. One of my favourite videos actually to explain how specific you have to be when you're coding is one on um, a dad and he's getting his kids to try and write a procedure to make a peanut butter sandwich. Have you seen that one? Yeah, that's really oh, funny. Oh, it's hilarious. And if you get one little thing wrong, you know, the peanut butter sandwiches end up not being peanut sandwiches at all. Absolutely right. So I'll just show you two quick things and then um, thank you for your time and let us know in the chat how much honey you have made. For me, it's one bottle and for Amanda, is it three still? I still, yeah, I, I hang on, I'll go back and see if I can get another one. Okay, so I've just, uh, I've just landed in a, a blank world and in a standard world that you've created in creative mode, you can enter a special mode called Code Builder. There's lots of um, information in, in Minecraft about how to get started with coding. There's some hour of code activities, but I'm just going to open up Code Builder, go into Microsoft Make Code, and just show you a couple of things really quickly that have helped me when I'm building um, with bees. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how you can quickly generate lots of bees. So maybe you've got your farm growing and you've got your bit, your um, flowers there. And. Um, and you just quickly need a lot of bees just with a really couple of simple blocks, you can set up a. Um, an a bee automator, so let me just show you that. A Here we go. So I'm, absolutely. Cool. So I'm going to give my project a name. Of course, I'm going to call it Bees. And oh, hopefully, people have done a little bit of coding before, but I'm just going to use these simple blocks. And that when I type in the word Bees, I'm simply going to spawn a bee. Mobs. So I go to the mobs folder here and I'm going to spawn a bee. I know the bee because it's yellow and black. And then the magic is I can use a loop. So rather than just spawn one bee, I can spawn, shall I? I'll do 400. I think my computer might stop, but let's see how it works. So now I just type in the word bees in the game and 400 bees are going to appear. That's pretty time consuming. It definitely saves me clicking the screen. Let's see if it works. That's so cool. Oh, it's cool if it works. I think it might grind my uh, computer to a halt, but I think it's worth it. So I just type in the word bees. And what's happened? Uh oh. <laughs> oh, there they go. I have just spawned 400 bees. That's going to take a while, but I reckon I can get lots and lots of honey now. Yeah, I just actually started to put some more hives down and they were already full of honey. So I'm not sure what happened there, but maybe hmm. I didn't have enough um, hives out. And I, I don't know. I just That's added odd. to the. Yeah, it is odd. But anyway, so I've got I've got four bottles of honey. That's all I've got, though. <laughs> You've got four bottles. I've got one got, bottle. Oh, Let I us, wonder how. I'll check that. I'll see if anybody else has put through. No, nobody else has responded how many bottles they've got. Excellent. My uh, bee on the screen there's in a bit of a spin. But what are you going to do next with um, with bees? Well, you can learn about bees in your own um, area and you can build a real life pollinator garden, maybe at school or in your community or at home. Um, and in Minecraft, there's a lot more tools that we haven't looked at. And you might want to create a sustainable apiary, a bee farm, maybe combine with friends and make a really great world for bees. 
There are also a whole lot of worlds um, in the Minecraft education library called um, Build with Bees. There's actually a whole 11 lessons I'm going to show you now where you can go and find out all about the things that we were guessing about today. You can find out all about farming, pollination, life cycle. So that would be good to find out how long they live there for. Go. Yeah. There we go. So there's 11 lessons that you can go and find out all about bees. So plenty there in the Minecraft education website. So thanks for playing along. I've had fun and learned stuff. Um, thanks, Amanda, for joining us. No worries. And thanks, everyone, for all of your comments that you posted. It's been great to learn some things from you today as well. See you next time. Bye bye. Bye.